What's up YouTube, how we doing? Thanks for checking out another video. This one is gonna be on a homemade DIY power box. And I intend to use this power box for primarily kayak fishing, running my Lowrance Elite 4 HDI, running lights, um, possibly aerators, charging gear, charging cameras, that sort of thing. But I didn't wanna just stop there. Like this was my old battery box for kayak fishing. Um, just a real cheap, small Walmart battery box. It fit the battery and the wiring harness, but that's about all it was good for. This, I want to be able to get multi-uses out of it. Um, I want to be able to drop it in the kayak and use it, or pick it up, take it out of the kayak, and up to camp, car camping, kayak camping, wherever, and still have tons of functionality built into it. So what you're looking at here is a Range Max ammo can that I purchased at Bass Pro Shop for 12, 14 bucks, somewhere around there. It's made of the same material that you know most tackle boxes are made out of. It does have a nice black seal that goes all the way around and the latch puts quite a bit of pressure on that seal. So it does seem like it would be pretty well waterproofed. So this is just the first few steps of me building out this box. Basically all I've done to it is I've added two marine cigar lighter plugs up top. Um, this one is wired into a 12 volt lead acid core battery, 5800 amp hour. And this one is wired independently to a blue brick lithium ion battery that is uh, 6800 amp hour. I've heard you know mixed results between wiring a lithium ion and a lead acid core battery together and how you don't want to do that. So Right now, they're set up independently. I plan to get more lead acid core batteries uh, for the main power source and wiring those parallel. By wiring those batteries parallel, I'll retain 12 volts, uh, but I will be quadrupling my amp hours. My goal with that is to have more power for longer days, you know, to be able to run the Lowrance on it all day and then come back and charge the MacBook on it. Um, and run it for radios or whatever you know so that's kind of the functionality that I'm going for so up top here I have two cigar lighter plugs marine grade I've also got a waterproof LED light with a waterproof switch and that's all I've got built into it at the moment but I've left more room for more switches up here, also switches over here, or possibly a trolling motor plug. I might start. I might put that plug in the side. I haven't decided yet. If you have any ideas or you know experience or life lessons with this stuff, let me know. I try to keep the wiring as simple as possible. So basically, the lead acid core battery is wired to one cigar lighter plug, the switch, and the LED light. Okay, I've just wired these in basic loops. I do have a 20 amp fuse up here. Wired these in basic loops. They go back around, back into the negative. That's the positive. Um, the plug and the switch are wired independently, so the switch only toggles the light. Um, these cigar lighter plugs when there's not a you know when there's not a plug in there the circuit is not connected therefore it's not on it's like a switch being in the off position so it's not going to continuously drain power just for being hooked up okay also I've got the lithium ion blue brick right here just velcroed to the top of the lid you know, I'll primarily use that as an auxiliary battery, um, last resort. It is set up on this plug, and it actually has a built-in fuse with a switch. So I can just keep that in the off position. And that's it, guys. This is the first stage of my DIY power box for kayak fishing and camping. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Also, let me know if, you know, some tips or tricks, that sort of thing. Um, I would definitely appreciate that. Guys, thanks for checking out the video. Y'all have a good one.